It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. First opened in 1957. Welcome inside what's still one of the great stadiums of the NFL. Legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, home of the Packers. Good to be in the booth with Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Greg, this is a passing league. You know that from your days. It's evolved even more into a game in the air. And boy, do we have a couple of quarterbacks who know all about moving their team via the pass. Yeah, and I think we're going to see this ball thrown early and often throughout the game. And anyone who loves offensive football, this is certainly a treat. And you said it, Mike. This league has turned more and more with each passing season into a passing league. If you can't throw, if you can't generate points through the air and explosive plays, it is going to be very difficult to compete and win week in and week out in today's modern NFL. The veteran Brandon McManus ready to kick this one off. And off we go from legendary Lambeau. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Lions led by Jared Goff chanting his name during the playoffs in 2023 in Detroit. Far cry from the trade from the Rams to the Lions, second in the league in passing a season ago. In my opinion, Mike, if they expect to leave here today with a win, they're going to have to be aggressive early and often. They might not connect on all of them, but pushing the ball downfield could open up a lot of opportunities for you to take advantage as this game unfolds. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Right to the air, here's Goff. Brought in by the tight end, Sam LaPorta. A great connection there. They're going to bring it down inside the 35-yard line. This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike, and it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page, and the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry, because if they don't, they could be in for a long day. Here's the first carry for the Iowa State Cyclones. David Montgomery just pushing defenders out of the way as he surges forward for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. From the gun, it's gone. Complete. Might tell you after the game he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. Oftentimes it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. He's got his tight end. That's Laporta. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Now they're entering the area of the field, especially with the amount of yards they've gained on this possession, Mike, where it feels like a touchdown is critical. For the defense, settling for a field goal here, especially with the ball where it is, feels like a win. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. So, as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. Here now, a toss to Montgomery. And he's followed up after a game of a yard. <laughs> 
seventh play of this opening drive. And here's third down. Out of the shotgun. It's gone. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. Throwing, Goff. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. It's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend, so give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. It is brought in in the end zone. Jameer Gibbs. Touchdown, Detroit. And, Greg, that is the way you love to start one of those games. Get off the bus, get on the field, get in the end zone, the road team with the first six of this one. And you can just see, Mike, it takes a lot of the air out of the stadium. And this crowd, they're fired up, start of the game, trying to make their presence felt, and the opposing team goes all the way down for an opening drive touchdown. That's an ideal way to start when you find yourself on the road. Bates, good, with the extra point. And the Lions will take a 7-0 lead. the kicks away for the return it's Keyshawn Nixon and a decent return there he'll get this up just shy of the 30 here comes the pack and here comes Jordan Love fifth season quarterback but Greg just his second as a starter waited his turn and had a really good first year as a starter I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from their opening whistle. First and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Love. They go sideline, and he stays inbounds the feet down in time it's a first down 18 yards on the pickup there and a first down really nice throw there the ability to throw the ball out on the perimeter yes arm strength and all that but it's also timing the timing of the route when is that wide receiver oh they're on him in a flash and he's lost the football the Lions have got it touchdown oh man what a start for this team two drives two scores and it's both their scores first one by the offense and Greg now the defense gets one on the board yeah, this is just a dream scenario Mike I mean you talk so often guys we got to start the game and capture some momentum we have to go out and impose our will on our opponent in this case both sides of the ball have clearly come to play we get a special teams touchdown, Mike, and we can go for the trifecta. Here's Bates for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Lions move out on top. 14 to nothing. The 
our kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, here's Jaden Reed. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The Packers offense going to take over now for the second time. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Go play action with love. That one on target to Watson. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Mark him at the 48 yard line. Didn't take him long to get now to their opponent's side of the field. I like the idea of starting this drive with some explosive pass plays. That's going to open everything up, both underneath in the passing game and on the ground. So, big play to get this drive off to a fast start. So there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel in. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. It's the tight end craft in motion. Right side, catch me by God. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up the first down after a gain of seven. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play, winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass, because that quarterback, he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time, and he's able to secure a really nice catch. And he's going to have to eat this one, and down he goes. This is why every defense wants to play with the lead because it allows them to just tee off on the quarterback. Go rush the passer. You're not worried about them handing the ball off or a little quick game. You know they're chasing points, so what can you do? You can get after this guy, and boy, have they ever. On the ground, this is the 2022 rushing champ. Josh Jacobs. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. Out of the shotgun. It's love. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. you got to see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and it also gives some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. And no chance to down this one. He carries deep into the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense, ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They've raced out to a 14-0 lead. They've done nothing wrong so far. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. So they start this on the ground with Montgomery. And the defense all over this one. They knock them down. It'll go down as a loss of two. Now, there hasn't been a whole lot for this crowd to be excited about on either side of the ball. But at least now the defense is trying to be that spark. Nice tackle for loss there. Can they do something to build upon to try to get this team going? They move Laporta, sending him in motion. A second down throw for God. He finds Raymond for the completion. And mark them down up beyond the 30. 
To say this group has started strong here in the first quarter, Mike, might be a bit of an understatement. I mean, offensively, firing on all cylinders. Defensively, suffocating the opponent. The ability to complement each other on both sides of the ball and play at such a high level. They could have a little bit more breathing room here by the end of this drive. Catch is made by Wright. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Unfortunately, Michael, over my career, I've been in this guy's shoes plenty of times, probably more than I wish to admit. You take your eyes off the ball. You think about becoming a runner before securing the catch, and when you do that, you end up watching the ball fall to the ground. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled, and it's incomplete. Looks like he may have got a little ahead of himself there, and it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, we sit up here all the time and we try to break down why certain plays work or don't work. Well, this one's not real tricky. I mean, he just simply needs to catch the ball. I mean, that close to the first down chain, he just catches that ball and turns up field. They extend this drive. He's got to come over to the sideline, take a deep breath, tell his guys, hey, man, that's on me. And he's got to go out and make that next play because his team's going to need him to play better as the rest of this game continues. Out comes the Green Bay offense now as they get set to take over again they'll do so with first and ten here's luck and that one knocked away it's incomplete he decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks and at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. He'll try again here. Second and ten. They'll run it straight ahead with Jacobs. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Well, there's not a whole lot of fancy going on here, Mike. This is just kind of old-school lineup and run smash-mouth football. It's exactly what they did, but it still ends up in a big game, and he picks up the first down. Here's first and ten. On the bootleg, it's Love. A throw on the move is caught. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. On play action, Love. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Anytime you see a receiver at this level miss a ball that easy, it's just concentration. They just take it for granted. All of a sudden, they're thinking about what their next move is or what they're going to do after the catch. And instead of just focusing on first things first, secure the catch, put the ball away, and then become a runner. They get 19 on that pass play. Good for a Green Bay first down. It's so early in the game, you have to be careful now as coaches and players that you don't find yourself trailing early and get out of your game plan. There is so much time left. Stick to what you've worked on all week. There's plenty of time to chip away and see if you can make this thing close come the fourth quarter. Dobbs headed in motion. They'll run the draw with Jacobs. He's able to get away from one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. 
Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part coming through again with another big stop for a loss. Once again, it's Jacobs. He'll burrow his way forward for a couple. Brian Grant in on the tackle. It is third and ten. The man in motion is Watson. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. The biggest issue in why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient. But at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? McManus's kick is good. And the Packers get their first points of the game. They trail 14-3. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. To return, it's Khalil Dorsey. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Lions' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first step. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On first and ten, here's Goff. That one incomplete. The tight end, Sam Laporta, the intended receiver. It's second down. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back, and I think that last one falls in that category. But the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with the lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. This pass complete to Raymond. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here now, third and five. To throw is gone. And this ball incomplete on third down. So the hope is your one third down conversion from really jump starting a possession that ultimately leads in points. But after that third down incompletion, kind of throws a wrench into those plans. Here's Jack Fox now. He's on to punt for the second time in this opening quarter. And the receiver with a fair catch taken successfully and that's where he'll turn it over to the offense the Packers offense getting set to get back to work they'll see if they can put something together here beginning with first and ten off play action he'll set up to throw Intercepted. That's the safety, Kirby Joseph. You see, Mike, anytime the quarterback is hit right as he's about to release the ball, there's just no telling where this ball is going to end up. In this case, it leads to the easy interception, but you have to give credit and give the assist. That pass rush is what created that turnover.
The Lions offense ready to get back to work. They start with the lead and the football. They do so with tremendous field position. It's first and ten. with the give to Montgomery. And he'll work forward to about three. It's second down. The motion man is Raymond. We are through one. It's the Lions who have the early lead. And we're back. Lambeau Field in just a moment. They face second down and seven. Goff to throw. This one caught by Patrick. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Third and a yard. They'll try and run it here with Montgomery. He's not going to get the first down. Met and blocked down in the backfield. On third and short, they do not get it done. Fourth down, that brings Jake Bates out for the Lions' field goal. This will be an even 40-yard attempt. Bates' kick is good. And the Lions will open up a 17-3 lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here's Nixon on the return and this will work out quite well he'll get it all the way out to the 30 yard line the Packers offense ready to take over once more we'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten One of the tight ends in motion right. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. Faking the give. And that's going to wind up incomplete. Pressure certainly impacted the quarterback there. Couldn't get his arm all the way through. And it's going to bring up a third down. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. From the gun, it's Love. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there 
making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. And this passing game continues to come up short these last couple plays. That's two consecutive incompletions in a row. Now they're staring fourth down right in the face. A fair catch taken, and they're going to start right at their own 20-yard line. The Lions offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and ten. to throw is gone. Got his receiver on the in-cut. He's got it. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Here's a second and six. Now, gone. Open man downfield it's Laporta a great connection there they're going to bring it down inside the 35 yard line while everybody wants to attack the middle of the field you just have to make sure you don't do it recklessly you want to make sure you protect both the ball and your receiver and in this case he does both puts it on the money picks up a big game they'll break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. They'll go play action with Dom. Oh, the blitz gets there quickly, and down he goes. To play in the NFL, you've got to have a short-term memory, because regardless of whether the previous play was good or bad, they're going to line up and snap it again. And in this case, really nice job bouncing back. They put the bad play behind them, forced the sack in the ensuing play, and they're right back on track. Second down, gone. He's got the point open on the left side. And he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. That was good for 29. What a luxury that certain teams, when they have a guy like this, I mean, not only is he the big target, but then to have that size and speed to run away from these linebackers and do so much of his damage after the catch. Down at the 12. It's first and ten. A run up the gut with Montgomery. And he finds some space. Tackled after a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. More time for Montgomery. And he'll be near the first down marker. Let's call it a game of three. But a short yardage situation coming up on third down. Now a pitch to Montgomery. And he will kick this one across into the end zone. David Montgomery. Touchdown, Lions. This defense continuing to give up points. Greg, you've been on offenses like this. This has to feel great when you're on a roll like this. And it's really twofold, Mike. First and foremost, just like you said, every offense in the league works all week. We want to start out fast. We want to establish some early rhythm and play our style of game. They've certainly done that. Now, on the flip side, what does it do to your opponent? It takes them completely out of their game plan, knowing this early in the game, they're chasing points. Bates, good, with the extra point. And the Lions extend to a 24-3 lead.
teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here's Nixon on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Packers offense ready for this next possession. They find themselves down three touchdowns here. Needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. Here's Love to throw. This one is caught by Reed. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. It's been a rough first half, but now as we approach halftime, Mike, you got to start getting some wins. And it could be something small like we just saw here. Some positive plays, build a little confidence on that sideline. So as you go into halftime, you have something to build on. Love to throw it on first half. To crash the tight end downfield. How about this one, too, to start the drive? Mark him off with a gain of 24 and another first down. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes, and there is a lot of room to operate. Love to throw on first and ten. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Now luck. That complete to Jacobs. Whistle him down, but not before he picks up the first down after a gain of seven. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. And as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. Line of scrimmage remains the four-yard line. It's second and goal. Here's Love. Well, that is a step in the right direction, finding the end zone. I don't know, Greg, could this be building some momentum for these guys, and that's important before halftime? Absolutely, and I think the biggest thing this coach is trying to get across right now on the sideline, Mike, is let's just cut into this lead, and let's make it a one-score game at half. So they still got some work to do, but if they can go into halftime, regroup, catch their breath, just keep it close, give yourself a fighting chance here out of the break. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away to return it it's Dorsey and he'll work this one 
past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The visitors' offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. They'll start out first down and 10. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Goff going to throw here on first and ten. The throw here is complete. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Now the second-year man out of Alabama, Jameer Gibbs. And he'll be close to a first down. A gain of a couple as they mark him just short. Don't need much. It is third and inches. On play action, Goff. Indeed, the referee does signal it is a first down. So on these play calls, Mike, on third and inches, typically how it goes is we're going to try to take a shot, then there's a medium zone option, and then the last resort is just pick up the first down with something underneath and get that fresh set of down. So in this case, he settles for the underneath throw, but it's still enough to pick up the first down. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. From the gun, it's gone. He'll look underneath here for Montgomery. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game, just one more thing for the defense to have to defend Make them go sideline to sideline, line of scrimmage to the end zone. Defend every blade of grass, and a really good running back goes a long way in doing it. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and... They get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. That's a short one caught by LaPorta. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. A good spot here, second and a yard. Out of the shotgun, it's gone. Got his man at the six. What a chance now. First and goal coming up. Man, they're just running this two-minute drill to complete perfection. It's such a point of emphasis of every offense, Mike. These end-of-half scenarios to come away stealing points make a big impact on the outcome of the game. And they're knocking on the door here, first and goal. At the very least, got to come away with some points. This defense back up, but stepping up. No gain on the play. It stays at the three. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. One more time with Montgomery. That one only good for a gain of one to the two to set up third and goal. The Lions 
called their first timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Once more from the two, third and goal. Off the play fake. And the rush too strong. They're in there in a flash for the set. comes Jake Bates to try a field goal here. This about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Lions can attack on three more. Extending the lead here late in the first half. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The home team's offense can see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. the shotgun it's love no one open he'll drop it to his running back and he's brought down after a game of six on first down they'll work now on second and four A good play action with Love. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, and it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. Jaden Reed was the intended target. Now it's going to be third down. Back to throw is Love. Toward the middle. That one caught by Watson. Packers going to use their final timeout now as they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. They'll come up here first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Love. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looks like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. You know, it's hard to speculate, Mike. We sit up here and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches, but they seem to me to be a little bit rattled. All these negative plays have really started to pile up in the first half. He's got to settle down have some more efficiency on these early downs and get his offense into some sort of rhythm. Carlton Davis there defensively to break that one up. Well, that's two straight plays now where this secondary has won their matchup, and right now the offense needs to find some plays that just call for easy completions. Get your wide receivers in space. Allow them to run after the catch, because right now these downfield passes, the defense is all over them. He's going to uncork one. Looking for Wicks. That is 
Incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion. But can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there? I mean, I think that ball is over 60 yards in the air. And I would be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if they can complete one of those. going to run it here up the middle and he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards so we reach halftime and the visiting lions are in the lead as we send you down to orlando where jonathan coachman has our ea sports halftime report coach all right michael thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown orlando studios and the ea sports halftime report in that first half, it was David Montgomery who proved to be tough to stop. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Jordan Love, the rest of the Packer offense, ready for their next possession. And he has had all sorts of trouble in this one. Your quarterback has to take care of the ball, and he has not. Turning it over in the air turning it over as a fumbler you just cannot win football games in this league when the quarterback's given the defense the ball and that's what he's done in this one set to go now on first and ten From the gun, it's Love. That's to Reed. He's got it. And they're going to bring him down, but there is a penalty marker on the field. But there is a penalty marker on the field. That's on the former second round pick, Elton Jenkins. Now, Love. A uh, fine work defensively. That's going to be an out the way. And go down as an incomplete. I like the idea of using the passing game to try to give your offense a little breathing room. You find yourself in the shadow of your own goalpost, Mike. Worst case scenario, you do not want to punt out of your own end zone. So I like the idea of trying to pick up some positive gains through the air. But they've got to come up with some completions and try to pick up at least one first down. Or you're going to put your defense in a tough spot. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. This is how you really judge quarterbacks operating in the NFL. This is not seven on seven. This is not summer camp where the quarterback can't be touched. Everybody can throw the ball from a clean pocket. Can you operate under the fire and be on time, in rhythm, and be accurate with the ball with contact? And we saw it play out perfectly here. His ability to... He's hit after the catch and the ball it comes free. And the defense has it. Mike, we hear that term run 
after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch, but before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. And remember now, all turnovers have to be verified by replay. So they might be taking a look at this one. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose and are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field so that one overturned they say the runner was down and that will not be a fumble Packers set to kick this one away And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. So Jared Goff and the Lions offense getting set for this next drive. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. Off to throw on first down. That's caught by Gibbs. And they'll get it up four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. A carry here for Montgomery. He's going to struggle to get back to the line. Maybe a yard. Javon Bullard there on the tackle. Third and five. To throw is gone. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. And that's exactly how you teach it. They want these defenders to time the hit that right when the ball gets there, you separate the receiver from the ball. And those are the ones on offense, man. You just have to make that catch, Mike. I know it's easier said than done, but you know the hit's coming. You've got to squeeze that thing, brace for impact, and... Make that play for your offense. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. <laughs> Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. start on the ground with Jacobs he plunges forward for a couple of yards Jack Campbell the former first round pick there to wrap him up second down and eight oh maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it That'll be incomplete with a penalty flag down. It looked like someone was across early. Oh, 
They'll run with Jacobs. And he'll get this up close to a first down, working it to the 33-yard line. Here's third down and a few inches. On play action, Love. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter, Mike. Points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive. But instead, poor execution, especially in the passing game, and it's another wasted drive. The visitors' offense and Jared Goff set to go to work once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. First and ten. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On the ground, Montgomery to start the drop. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Throwing here is gone. This one caught by Patrick. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. On first and ten, here's Goff. He finds Raymond for the completion. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. Mike, you've heard me say it a thousand times. The easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So early first down completion, you're on the plus side of the field. Now you're thinking strike. Touchdown, field goal. But either way, I'm coming away with points. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. Javon Bullard, they're on the tackle. Second and seven. They'll stay on the ground. Again, Montgomery. They'll get him behind his blockers, get forward for a pickup of three. Linebacker Isaiah McDuffie ends the play there. Here's a third down and four. Goff to throw. He'll get this one complete to St. Brown. Number 14 with a pickup of 14. And a first down. Well, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. On first down, it's gone. He pulls it in around the five. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. On 
second down, gone. And that's going to wind up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. From the gun, on third down, it's gone. To the goal line and in. Tim Patrick. Touchdown, Detroit. Bates now for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Lions will extend this third quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Nixon on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The home team's offense headed back to take over once more. They're in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. Throwing on second down, Love. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Come up now for second down and four. To throw is Love. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And it'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. And a strong first down run, a pickup of Knox, setting up second and short. In motion, Reed. On play action, he'll set up to throw. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, 
It winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Out of the shotgun. It's Love. Open is Kraft. He's got it. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. Really just comes down to everybody understanding the situation. You realize, how many yards do I need to get for the first down? And just make sure at least one of my receivers is past the sticks. That's where he went with the ball, and they're able to convert. That one on target to Watson. And he's in. Christian Watson. Touchdown, Packers. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Now Love getting the Packers set for this two-point drop. up the middle of Jacobs and he's got it in for the two and we're back to a two score game the lead is cut to 16 The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. To return it, it's Dorsey. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The visitor's offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on you got the two touchdown passes over 200 passing yards he has been excellent all game long here's first and ten From the gun, it's gone. Open man downfield, it's Laporta. And he will take this one in. 73 yards. Touchdown, Detroit. What a luxury to have in an offense. A tight end who can take it down the field like that and take it the distance. Shades of Greg Olson back in the day. Well, I appreciate that, Mike, but I think it's clear by now that we all know what's the most impactful position on offense. It's the tight end. And when you have a guy like this who can not only make those difficult catches underneath, but who can get down the field for these big plays, man, you got yourselves a weapon. Here's Bates for the extra point. He's got it. And the Lions tack on one more to their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This returnable with Reed. And he'll be brought down 
just beyond the 25-yard line. Here's Christian Watson and the rest of the Packer offense heading back onto the field. And you see the numbers for him into this third quarter. They just pop off the screen. He has been open and electric throughout. Love to throw on first and ten. He's going to go deep. Looking for Reed. And that is incomplete. He's trying to set the tone here for the rest of the game and let this defense know there is not a blade of grass on this field that you don't have to defend because he reared back and he let that one eat. And he's got to work a little bit on his touch, a little bit on his accuracy, but I don't think he needs to work on his arm strength. On second down, Jacobs. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. 16-yard pickup on that one. First down, Packers. So, three quarters now in the books. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. So they come to the line for first down and 10. From the gun, it's Love. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Here's Love to throw. A quick slap. Woken by Watson. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. These can be tricky situations defensively, right? The game is all but over. Barring something unforeseen, you got this one in the bag, but... You still want to finish on a high note. You still want to walk off the field and put an exclamation point on what's pretty much been a dominant performance right from the start. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. quarterback has no chance but to extend the play look for something late developing downfield that was all the time this front needed to chase him down and bring him down for a sack after the loss of three it is second and 13 love throwing right it's taken in and he will get into the end zone Tucker Kraft touchdown Green Bay well, Greg, really down to the point where every possession they need to score and they get a touchdown here to stay alive. Mike, I like what I'm seeing out of this team. They find themselves down big late, but there's no quit. They're continuing to fight back, and they got a chance to make this one a two-possession game here late. Now Love getting the Packers set for this two-point drop. 
He'll drop to throw. And he'll get into the end zone. Doing it on his own. Successful two-point conversion. There was no hesitation from this offense. Immediately after they scored that touchdown, the entire sideline was holding up two fingers. They knew exactly what play they wanted. They felt great about it coming into the game and clearly the right choice. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away to return it it's Dorsey and he's brought down right at the 25 yard line the Lions offense getting those helmets back on ready to head out for their next possession and as we look back now Greg at how we got here we got a ton of highlights of the offense so far in particular great passing yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump. From 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. So they start this on the ground with Montgomery. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Here's a second and three forthcoming. shotgun it's gone there's that man again another catch and he's going to be brought down up past the 45 an interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air Mike you're up by two scores traditional wisdom says hey we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter we've got to keep this clock moving we don't want to risk an incompletion now they convert they're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. Second down throw for God. Back over the middle, but it's incomplete. Amon Ross St. Brown, the receiver he was trying to target. And third down coming up. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with a touchdown to put the game away, but you would love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. That's going to be out of bounds. No return. And the drive's going to start from just inside the 20-yard line. Out comes the Green Bay offense now as they get set to take over again. They need to start making some inroads here. Down two scores as they begin this drive with first down. Throwing is love. The rush gets 
and he goes down back inside the five-yard line. They just have to be better on first down. They've got to find a way to continue to operate ahead of the sticks, and I don't mind throwing it on first down. That is the best down in football to attempt to pass, but if they don't protect the passer, none of it's going to matter. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They'll run. And some good blocking. Springing up a gain of nine as we get to third down. Here's Love. He'll try and get there on the ground. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. He's going to go deep, looking for Reed. That is brought in. And he has got this one all the way down to the two-yard line. They really showed off their connection on that pitch and catch, Mike, and just really good ball placement and really good separation downfield. And when those two things align, it's just really challenging for a defender to stay with them and take that play away. So the big play gets him down close, and now it's first and goal. Here's Jacobs, and he's going the wrong way, dropped back at the seven. I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut, Mike. You can see he was a little hesitant and once you're late making that decision, you just kind of get strong laterally. Great job there by the defense, and he has no choice but to take that loss. On second down, Love. To the back of the end zone. He's got it. Romeo Dobbs. Touchdown, Packers. Two touchdowns for him now in the afternoon. So they get the touchdown, and now it is a nine-point game. Greg, you can go for one and make it a one-possession game. Or some people think about going for two here. What would you do? I think I'm going for two, Mike. Listen, the way you have to look at it is I need a two-point conversion at some point. But I want to know now, am I down truly two scores, or am I able to get it down to seven and truly make it a one score? So I'm going for two now, and I want to know what the rest of this game looks like. How many possessions do I need? So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. To return it, it's Dorsey. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Lions offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Here's Goff. Who outs another catch for his favorite target. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. 
these wide outside the number throws, this is where a quarterback really gets to show off his arm strength and arm talent. This puts a ton of pressure on the defense because now they say, all right, we have to defend every single blade of grass. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Throwing here is gone. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. Second down and three. They'll bring St. Brown in motion. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And he'll be near the first down marker Let's call it a gain of three, but a short yardage situation coming up on third down. Motion man set right. On play action, Goff to the right side. That's St. Brown. And he's going to be out of bounds just past the marker. The ball was in the proper place for a new set of downs. At this point in the game, Mike, it really starts coming down to the number of possessions. So that's a huge first down conversion. Fresh set of downs. Now, the balance is stay aggressive and maintain the ball, but also start working. That is fun. What a throw. Tim Patrick. Touchdown, Lions. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Bates now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Lions will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here's Nixon on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Packers offense and receiver Christian Watson set to go once more. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. play action love and he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on that's incomplete trying to connect with romeo dobbs that time and it'll lead to a second down back to the air it's love over the middle he fits it into dobbs they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pick. 
Right side. Catch made by Dobbs. They go right back to him. This catch good for 11 and a first down. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. They're lucky to have avoided this mistake here, Mike. In the fourth quarter with possessions running out, that would have been a critical back-breaking play in this game. And they're going to have second life now after that defender drops the ball. And let's see if they can take advantage of it. Another try, second and ten. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. The open man is Reed, he's got it. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. Call it a gain of 13. First down, Packer. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. They've got all three timeouts left, but need to score quick. It's first and ten. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another set. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. Here comes second down. They'll drop to throw. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Gonna need a big play now, third down and long. Now, Love. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. It's just so hard to be a good offense in the NFL, Mike, when you are not good on third down. Your inability to extend drives, it either puts a lot of pressure on your coaches to be aggressive on fourth down, or simply punt or take a field goal. You have to maintain possession and give you more cracks to score touchdowns. They'll go for it. Look. That's deep for the back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. He took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on downs. So this offense, they think this is a prime opportunity to go for it through the air on fourth down. But this defense was having none of it. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. No easy completions. And this defense forces a huge stop on fourth down. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Goff with the give to Montgomery. Not much happening there. Just a short game. Packers go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. 70 seconds left to go in this game. Here's a second and nine. Here's a handoff to Montgomery. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, forthcoming. From the gun, it's tough. Before it can start, he's swallowed up to force fourth down. Fourth 
Here's the Lions punt team now. As this drive quickly stalled out, so he's on to punch it away. And he'll be brought down. Short return, and they'll take over there. The Packers offense ready to get back at it. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. From the gun, it's Love. in the area of holding. The road gets a little tougher now. It's first and 20. Back to throw is Love. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. And the big guys up front in the offensive line just continue to not be on the same page. And we've seen it time and time again here today. This pass rush remains one step ahead of him. And it's the quarterback who continues to pay the price. Throwing on second down, Love. This offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another set. This has been a masterful game plan defensively. I mean, not only have they found their mismatches and been able to exploit them, it's led to seven sacks so far. I mean, even when the offense seems to make an adjustment, Mike, the defense just still seems to be one step ahead of them. And he'll be brought down there, and that'll put a wrap on this one. Time has expired in this fourth quarter. So a win for the visitors, the Lions. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. In the end, a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That is the difference in this one.